made this video, and 15 minutes later, this happens. Had the Santa suit, had the glow sticks, already was a plague doctor, how did you know? Had the glow sticks, already was a plague doctor, how did you know? I did in fact get my reward from Dr. Shen. And why aren't you in uniform? Go, yeah, it's gonna take me a second to reach you and help you with your problem. What's more important than fixing the SRAs? Uh, I'm just trying not to die. That's fair. fair. Uh, what is it this time? Well, Reggie gave SCP 999 yeah, and four liters of soda in an MP5. How much soda? Send in here. Send in the next applicant. Hey, Sherman, remember me? So, you want to be an SCP. Let's start with your name. Sir Reginald Romano Regalas III. Gotcha. What sort of anomalous abilities do you possess? Extremely enhanced sense of smell, including anomalous and magical properties mm -hmm. inside of items, including the pestilence. Tell me about your backstory. Once a scientist who found this mask, which is the actual anomalous item, that gave him these powers, which drove him nuts right. because he can now smell evil things, which is why he uses a shotgun to hunt them. Why do you want to be an SCP specifically? Everybody else seems to think it's a good idea. Plus, it will actually define Reggie against 049, finally. So, you know, here I am. Mm-hmm. Now, while I can't give you a proper SCP number until you're on the main database, I can, in the meantime, give you an SCP OC number. What number would you prefer? Mm, how about 4730? All right, proceed to the next room. Touching you Down ways to die. And that's why my sister won't eat duck. That makes so much sense. Oh, security, go to the Buckethead cell. We can't have Reggie being the invincible Buckethead. That's too much power. But he's not quite the idiot that Ace is, and he can be quite cynical. Security, just shoot him. Wait, really? Yeah, just shoot him. I think it's going to work. I knew it. He just didn't believe enough. What if I told you you have but ten minutes to live? Whoa! Who even let him have that? Before I give you a million dollars, should I have started with that? I'm not saying this uh, is on you completely, well, but that was a really uh, obtuse way to phrase that. You should probably leave. Yeah, get back um, to your cell. I'll call cleanup. So Test failed. <laughs> You know that I can hear you. Hey. Reggie. Oh, hey there, buddy. Uh, to office, he's seeing you here, pal. I, in uh, my office. I'm going to grab my hat. Yeah, I just dropped it last time. and. Uh, you know you're going back uh, into the box, right? Me. The game is afoot. Big in test. Can I get existence? What the hell are you wearing? Bucket. <laughs> Why? Protection. Uh, uh, that, that, that's, that's not how that uh, Reggie is correct, that's not how that works <laughs> Test success You see, the bucket is not the anomaly in this test The subject is The subject is both a reality bender and an idiot As long as he believes in the bucket, it will protect him And bothering Reggie is a bonus here on SCP TikTok, there's a lot of jokes about harming SCP-999. I'm gonna put 999 in a blender. I'm gonna shove 999 in the microwave. I'm gonna blip 999 into the back rooms. But the thing you gotta remember is that 999's gonna be fine. That little guy can separate and reconstitute at will. This experiment is basically between an immortal jello child, possibly of the Scarlet King, and, well, you know, an idiot. Wake up. How you feeling? Exactly what I warned you would happen if you went near that thing. What? Oh, son of a bitch! They stole my force yet. Black and Decker Pecker Wrecker slices, dices, circumcises. And now a wish of putting the orphans out of our misery. What? I think the quote goes there, misery. Ah. Oh no! The D class from the War Orphanage. The Warfins. Get back in containment. Now containment. You know how boring it is in there. Don't exactly. care. It is an empty ass room. Like your this brain. Empty room with four white walls. Like your brain. What do you want to go back in your room? Oh shit! Let me get this one. What do we ask for? Uh, uh, I don't know. Give me a second. I'm not good at this. Obviously. I've got an idea. Yes. We demand a 
70-inch <laughs> widescreen oh. plasma TV. And glasses. Weird. And the Xbox. In the PS5. Fine, okay. Give them nothing and get more warfans. How about an SCP timeline where these characters are SCP oriented? Sounds fun, Reginald. Looking forward to having you around the site. And fun tangent, this also inspires me to talk a little about the levels of canonicity you encounter when dealing with the SCP community. The first level is the easiest. If it's on the wiki, it's canon. But because of the writing quality standards on the wiki, this is actually the hardest level to reach, and so I don't suggest it as your first outing. Making a new character, you don't want to start by trying to make them canon. And then you've got myself, Dr. Sherman. I'm in a weird zone I like to call canon, but just barely. I exist in literally one dialogue box of one SCP. We only know three canon facts about Dr. Sherman. He works at Site-42, he liked Raymond Ham, and he's mad that SCP-049 killed him. Everything else you know about Dr. Sherman, liking 999, going bad from testing 4521, the cat made waifu 049 crusade, all of that is just TikTok fandom fun. And honestly, I don't think if any of that was canon, it would make it any more fun. I think we're having a good time without that. The next level below that on the canon meter would be things that look like SCPs, but aren't actually them. This is like me treating every plague doctor like 049, even the female ones if they use the gender switching stone. Every Bigfoot or Sasquatch being an SCP-1000 instance, and every tree being damaged is SCP-4521. I'll often get comments that say, that's not 049, that's just a Plague Doctor. You can't make every Plague Doctor 049. It's my page, just watch me! But honestly, it doesn't affect or ruin their content when I do this. Their original content is still there for you to go watch. Also, my platform is weirdly big now, and so it helps them get views and followers when I do that. And I know you wouldn't know it from your side of the phone, but I'm actually mutuals with a lot of these creators, and if they asked me to stop, I totally would. And at the lowest level of canonicity, you have things that aren't even remotely related to SCPs. Things like the Reality Bending Banana, the Customer Service Entity, and yes, Coney Hawk. You and I both know that these aren't actually SCPs, but reacting to them as an SCP researcher would, what can I say? It's been fun for me to make and fun for you to watch. I hope this explanation has given you some insights into how and why I make the content I make, and hopefully helps you to make your own in the future. Secure. Contain. Protect. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.